What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Recently I picked up one of these vice mounted bead rollers. Uh, I happen to have gotten mine from Jegs, but it's the same type of bead roller that like Eastwood sells, Harbor Freight used to sell them. Uh, they're available from a number of different manufacturers. Um, so I used it originally when I made a radiator cover for the D100 here. After I made that cover, I decided to do some mods to the bead roller and I'll link to that video up here. Uh, one of the mods that I did was I wanted to stiffen it up because there was some flex in the, in the arms of the bead roller and that could cause some misalignment of your, of your dies and cause some problems when it comes to using this thing. So when I stiffened it, I wanted to incorporate a mount so I could mount it in a stand. Because normally you mount this thing in a vise and when I had this in my vise, it gets a little cramped over here because it was just where my workbench is and the location of the truck. There's not a whole lot of room here. So it was just a cramped workspace to kind of use that bead roller. And also, you know, if I was going to be doing a larger piece, there's a chance that I could get into maybe the wall or just, it was, this just wasn't convenient. So I built this stand for it, but then I got to thinking, well, this is kind of a waste for it to just be a stand for my bead roller. So I decided to incorporate another feature. So I decided to incorporate a mount for my Eastwood shrinker stretchers. Let me show you exactly uh, what I got going on here. So the first thing I did was I took some 3 8 plate and I made the mount for the shrinker stretchers. Now I have it set up so that they sit 90 degrees from each other. And then I used some of that hitch steel to build it so it just slides right in to the top. So it just slides into the top of the stand. Then I decided to add a couple of these clevis joints and these just act in place of the handle. And then I got some of this rod and I wanted it, I wanted this to be relatively self-contained to kind of take up a small footprint. I didn't want a whole lot of, this, all this to take up a whole lot of space. So I ran this rod, it's just a 3 8 rod or half inch rod, I forget exactly. It's a 3 8 internal because that's the size of this the threads on this heim joint. It runs down through the center tube. And then I just added this heim joint here. And then what I can do is depending on which one I want to use, all I got to do is take a, take a pin. Now I can use this one. And then when I'm ready to switch over to the stretcher, I just add a little turn to the, to the heim joint here. I can pin that. Now I can use the stretcher. And all of that, that rod runs down through, this, through the center tube of the mount. And then down at the bottom is another, is like a, another angle, another uh, heim joint with a ball joint mounted to a lever that I, met, that I made here. I just got some Delrin, those are just, uh, I believe they're plastic or Delrin uh, conveyor belt uh, bearing it's not really a bearing more like a bushing i ordered those from mcmaster car just took some schedule 40 pipe welded that up that slides in and now i have a pivot point and this is just some angle iron where the bottom rod there that comes out of that tube is welded in and there you can see the whole thing and then i just took a piece of chain cut it in half mounted this spring just so i have a return for the foot pedal. Then what I did was on the rear of the base, I added two uh, just fixed wheel casters. You zoom in there, you can kind of see those. And just added those to a couple of pieces of angle iron that are welded on to the base of the plate. And then that way, I, this thing is easily movable around the shop. I just tilt it back on the casters, roll this thing around to wherever I want to use it. So there you have it. Just a real quick look at the stand that I made for my bead roller and the setup for my shrinker stretchers. Overall, I mean, a little bit of foot action there and what is that? The shrinker works when it doesn't bind up. Just a little bit of die grinder work in there. We'll just clear up, make a little more clearance for that rod. But overall, works really well. So thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe, hit the bell, 
and I'll see you on the next one.